Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Association of American Railroads brings you a popular version of Friedrich von Trotto's immortal opera, Martha, starring Gordon McRae and his charming guest, Lucille Norman. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight another thrilling drama with music is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, sir, tonight I shall be Lionel, and lovely Lucille Norman will sing the title role in our Railroad Hour impression of Martha. <laughs> in England in the days of good Queen Anne, there was a health problem, same as there is today. And that's why they started the fair at Richmond, where all the servants gathered in holiday dress to look for employment. Right now, I'm bound for the Richmond fair to find a good maidservant to work on my farm. Come away, maiden, gay, to the fair. Yes, Lady Harriet. What is that singing? Why, I believe it is the servant people are marching to the fair at Richmond. How happy they sound. I wish that my life could be so full of song. Well, what you need is diversion, Lady Harriet. I shall take you to luncheon at the Donkey Races. How dreary. Uh, a boat excursion. Drearier yet. I might put my arm about your waist and plant a kiss upon your brow. That, Sir Tristram, would be the dreariest of all. Well, I'm always playing Romeo with Aunt Julia. I know. Let us go to the fair at Richmond. Oh, impossible. That's for peasants. A change of clothes will turn you into Bob the Plowman. What a ghastly thought. And I shall don a homespun country dress and become a maidservant. Come, Tom and Bob. We're off to the fair at Richmond. of all work in my house. But she must be young and she must be pretty. Oh, dear, Sir Tristram, he's looking straight at me. Will you come, Lady Harriet? Let us be gone. Wait, wait. You in the country homespun. You called me, sir? Yes. What is your name, little serving girl? Uh, well, uh, they call me Martha. Martha, indeed. What can you do, my child? Well, uh, I can sew, sir. I can hold, sir. Can broom and things I do can line the house and rule it too. There's naught I cannot do. Worth five guineas, I will hire her. Good heavens! On my farm, I shall require her. Dear me, she will come to work for me. Oh, dreadful! Milk and my 
You're bound to serve that man for a year. Come, Martha, climb on my hay wagon. We're off to my farm. But there's only one thing to do. Make a dash for it. Try to get away. But I don't want to get away, Sir Tristan. What? I like him. Welcome to my house, good Martha. And what are you going to fix for my dinner tonight? Nothing, sir. What? I've never been in a kitchen in my life. And you prefer to work in the field. And dirty my hand farming? I should say not. Well, at least you can spin. No, but I'm willing to learn. Here, sit down at the spinning wheel and I'll show you how it works. Oh, what fun. This may set the wheel of flying, set it whirring, set it flying. How delightful
lady, I have never been so touched by her voice or her song. I... It is late. May I retire to my room? Room? Of course, my child. Of course. Now, before this madness goes any farther. You are right, Sir Tristram. I will hurt him if I leave, but I shall hurt him far more if I remain. moment we'll return with Act Two of Martha. Now Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Martha, starring Gordon McRae as Lionel and Lucille Norman in the title role. pretty one. We'll have another lesson at the spinning wheel. Martha. Martha! Gone. Fled in the night. Oh, I am lost now. As I wake, 
searched everywhere for her, and it is no use. Trees of the forest, tell me where is she? seem to be enjoying the hunt. Surely you know why, Sir Twistrom. We are so close by the forest of Richmond. Where you played the servant maid for a week. Yes, for the happiest week of my life. Martha! Oh, heaven save me. It is he. Martha, you have come back. Whom do you address as Martha? Why, this young lady, sir. I hired her as a maidservant at Richmond Fair. Oh. <laughs> well, the man is raving. <laughs> I think she's the Lady Harriet. No. The dress is different. The eyes, the face, it is my Martha. I, I think you are mistaken, sir. Tell me, lass, do you remember me? We have never met before. You are my Martha. I am not. I do not know if you're a high-born lady or a serving girl, but I do know you have deceived me. Oh, may My 
it better so, my child. But if he could love me as a serving girl, may I not teach him to love me as the Lady Harriet? Pray, no rash decisions, my lady. Good Tristram, will you go and search for him and help me groom him for a proposal of marriage? Groom him? No, it's always my fate to be a groom, but never to a bride. Here is my plan. You will seek out Lionel and search Why, what is this place? What does it look like, sir? The banners, the, the gay clouds. I could swear that this is Richmond Fair. It is in your honor, sir, that the courtyard of our castle has been decked out as the fair at Richmond. In my honor? I don't quite understand. You will, my boy. You will. From the tangled young and old, the fair begins the bell at home. And it's all, sir. I can move, sir. I can break and groom and things like two can mind a house and groom it to There's no I cannot do. Are you breathing? Are you breathing? Are you going more and breaking through? If only have to say it through the way and say you do. Uh, choose yourself a young lady, sir. Um, what say you to that lass over there in the dress of country homespun? Martha. Not Martha, sir. The Lady Harriet. But no less ready to do your bidding. Tell me, then, lass. Can you cook and spin and sew? What can you do? I can renounce rank and worldly splendor of I can surrender, I can reply to a passion tender, can I say I love thee, and thee alone, and no but thee alone. Lady Harriet or Martha, I shall have two brides, and one love for both of them. Norman will be back in just a moment. Our thanks to Hans Conried, who played Sir Tristram, and our entire company. Martha was prepared for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. Now here's Marvin Miller. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroads. This is Pennsylvania week, and throughout the Keystone State, people are paying tribute to the things that have made this state outstanding. An industrial output that has made Pennsylvania a symbol of production all over the world. The vast products of its mines and the richness of its fields and forests. And an equally important part of this great state is its railroads. For among the states, Pennsylvania stands third in railroad mileage. First in the number of railroad employees. Yes, Pennsylvania depends on its railroads, for the two have grown together. The nation's railroads are proud to salute the Keystone State. And now, here is tonight's guest, our own Lucille Norman. Uh, it's good to take a trip on the show train again, Gordon. Well, it's good to have you, Lucy. And by the way, you're coming back to spend Christmas with us, aren't you? Mm-hmm, and that's not too far away at that. By golly, that's right. It's only ten more Monday nights till Christmas, everybody. <laughs> and we've got them loaded with thrilling music just for you. Who's your guest next week, Gordon? <laughs> what did you say, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your guest next week? 
Well, <laughs> Mimi Benzel is our guest next week, and <laughs> we'll give a bright glow to an old favorite, Victor Herbert's sweetheart. I'll be listening, and good night, Gordon. Good night, Lucille. All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And until next week, this is Gordon McRae wishing you all a pleasant good night. <laughs> Martha was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae can be seen in Warner Brothers on Moonlight Bay. Lucille Norman appeared through the courtesy of Warner Brothers and can now be seen in their Technicolor production, Painting the Clouds with Sunshine. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroad. Now keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Hear the voice of Firestone coming up on NBC.